So going out to the back of the house, we have a set of double doors that lead us into a, I guess, a vestibule. Uh, and the vestibule has got a really cool little sink on the side that's made out of marble. And it's got a little shelf over here. And uh, another set of uh, double doors that go out into the garden. Let's take a look. So this is the back garden. Um, this is one of the main reasons why we bought this property. It wasn't necessarily to get eight bedrooms or anything stupid like that. It was just that in France, when you're in a village, it's very difficult to get exterior property, like a, as in a garden. Uh, if you're in the countryside or something like that, and you're kind of out of walking distance from the down, from the, the village or the town, you can get more property. But when you're in an actual village like us, we're on a pretty main road, probably the main road. Um, yeah, getting this, getting that back garden is was a big deal. So what I've done is I've poured over the last three years, uh, well actually the last summer basically, the end of last summer, I poured about 46 tons of concrete on my, by myself. Um, it was a big job. Um, I've also leveled uh, the garden. Uh, the whole garden tends to drain back towards the house. So I've added in um, French drains along there to try to catch it. The patio slopes this way. I've also got a kind of a little motor with the called Canivos here that we're going to fill in um, that collects all the rainwater. And then that rainwater gets pumped into the garage, which then gets used on the sprinkler system to water the plants and water the grass. So it's a really good little system I've made over the last three years, designing it and building it. And it's just starting now to pay off finally. Now that I can grow grass and we've got rid of the dirt and all the, and all the bad stuff. Uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to put uh, travertine tiles down on top of all the, the concrete. So it won't just be concrete. Uh, it's just, well, we're, if we're going to get the roof done, we're afraid that they're going to drop tiles or damage it. So there's really no point. There's no rush. Uh, we can still grow all the plants. We can grow the perennials and the, and the rose bushes and the vines and everything else you want to grow here and get things going and get the grass going so that we can uh, have a nice garden in a couple more years when we get the roof done. So yeah, basically this is the kitchen on this side, obviously the hallway over here um, is going to be, this is the sunroom area, which I was talking about. And this is the extension, I don't know if you can see it, but this whole section was added on, you think in the sixties. So what we're going to do is replace the windows, be something more in keeping with what those are, kind of that French style. And then we're not sure if we're going to do the whole length of this or just this section and replace it with doors. And then as you can see, it's gonna go out on the pool, which will be quite nice. Um, we've also had to build, because one of our cats is very sick, it has leukemia, some kind of feline leukemia. I don't really understand it. Uh, it wasn't supposed to survive. We bought some really kind of dodgy drugs and paid too much money and we saved this cat. Uh, but it can't never get exposed from another cat that has it. Otherwise it will get it again and we'll have to pay for it to be go to the hospital and get these injections and stuff like that. So we've had to build a catio. So all of our four cats go to the catio. They love it. They're not there right now, but normally they love it. They love to sit in the sun. They're out. Uh, we also take them for walks around the garden on a leash, which they kind of like. Um, and uh, we also have the whole range of the house them to run up and down. So they love running up and down the stairs. So it's not they don't get an exercise. It's just they're now kind of inside, semi-outside cats. Yeah, I did the catio. We've got some shelves there. I got to take care of some of the weeds and stuff, but uh, I've been doing a lot of work uh, on the outside of this garden. Uh, some of the other things I've done is I've repaired uh, this arbor. Uh, the arbor basically runs the depth of the uh, garden. Uh, I put lights on it, um, repainted it, straightened it all out. Uh, it, towards the back of the garden, a branch from a big tree this big tree here fell onto it and it bent and, and broke off a lot of the the metal so i've repaired and replaced and welded the metal and got everything straight mostly straight you know it's once again it's old we don't care too much but i've done all that uh, i've also repaired we have a little uh, gazebo kind of thing that i'm trying to grow uh, vines up on this side over here um, repaired all that the last big thing to do is I got to repair the greenhouse towards the back. The greenhouse is going to be a whole summer. Um, there was a whole nother tree beside where this large tree is now uh, that they were basically jammed together. And those roots ran under the greenhouse, destroyed the floor like it was up like this much and lifted all the, 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 the walls that hold up the metal. So over the last three years, I've been kind of just I removed all the roots, dug under it and just letting it settle down and kind of naturally kind of fall back into place, I think. So maybe next summer, maybe the summer after, that'll be the big challenge. And I'm going to re remove all the glass from it. 
label it, and then basically straighten all the metal out, paint it, rust proof it, uh, and then put all the glass back in, fixing, including fixing all the, the glass that's broken in it. And then hopefully we'll have a nice place in the winter to sit and have a coffee or whatever and sit and enjoy the weather. If it gets a little cool at night, you sit in there. Uh, we can grow lots of plants in there. We're going to put a heat pump in there so we can get it cooled in the summer and heated in the winter so we can run the greenhouse all year round. Um, but yeah, that's part of the plan and that's what we've done back here. I've still got to do the lamppost. Uh, I've repaired the fountain which was didn't hold water. Uh, it recycles. Uh, and then I have a bunch of uh, storage tanks in the garage, which I'm going to add to this winter that basically allows me to collect all the water because there's so many water bands here where I able to use water. So I'll try to get another video out showing you the whole process and why it took me three years and how much was done getting this pool in, removing the tree, uh, what else? All the other work I've had to do to get this garden to be kind of taken care of itself, including all the automation and the sprinklers and stuff like that. So anyways, let's go and check out, check out the garage. So this is the garage. It's a good size. I think it probably holds, I don't know, six, seven cars if you wanted to. Um, probably doesn't look very big on camera, but it goes back quite a good ways. Uh, there's also a ladder that goes up to kind of a storage hayloft. It's not hay, but I think it's probably hay originally, kind of a triangle shape. So it's not very usable, but it's great for storing boxes or anything you ever want to, that you're going to use rarely kind of thing. Uh, we've also got a door over here that leads to a street behind us. Um, which is really good for getting to the pub or for going into the little village, which is just here. Uh, the whole thing slides over, so you can get a cars in here like that. Eventually, I'll be automating it. Um, there's also a little door over there that you can get through, locked and whatnot. Um, but yeah, basically, it's a really good garage for a workshop, which is fantastic. Um, I'm also going to be taking um, these IBCs, they're called, and basically this is where I'm storing all the water at this point. So there's 3,000 liters. Each one of these is 1,000 liters. Uh, I don't know how many gallons that is, but it's a lot. And uh, basically I can fill one of these in about a day. Actually, all three of them will fill up in about a day's of rain, a day worth of rain here um, with that collection system, which is just amazing. We, Because uh, I use quite a lot of water when I'm, when I'm watering uh, the garden and the grass. Uh, once it's established, which is not established yet, uh, I won't need to water as much. But right now I'm fertilizing it really heavy and I'm really pushing it to grow and spread. So I'll have to water it probably twice a week to make it go, 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 because our temperatures are really high and it's really dry. Um, but anyways, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff here, like there's concrete uh, sacks over here that I didn't finish that I've still got to use up, hopefully in won't be too old by the time I go to use it. And I've got a lot of gravel and sand and stuff like that for mixing concrete. And yeah, basically there's a good little office over here or, or workshop area that I can use. I've got lots of space to store stuff, a lot of junk that we're going to eventually get rid of, but you know, or at least put up there. Uh, one of the other plans I want to do is as a project is I want to make a bit of a lift or an elevator here, not like a real elevator, but just something with a winch so that I can load boxes or load like wheelbarrows, things that we're never going to use except for once in a while, put them on this and then have it lift up through a hole in the ceiling and just leave it up there. That's kind of a goal uh, because I'm learning how to weld and getting better at that. Hopefully that's something that's in my kind of uh, abilities now. But yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, I'm also going to be taking those IBCs and moving them. We're going to move them down to the far end over here where there's a lot of stuff, which is why I haven't done it yet, because it's going to be a winter job probably. And we're going to buy another five. So we have a total of eight, which is 8,000 liters. So when there's a big rainstorm, which we tend to have a big rainstorm all at once versus, or, or like, like a day or two solid, and then it doesn't rain for weeks. So capturing that and capturing 8,000 liters isn't a problem. It's more along the lines of, you know, how many of these things can I get? Because what I'm finding is this isn't really a good spot for it. i got tools over here. If we're going to take a car and park it, it would be good to put there and not back there. So it was just like, you know, hindsight's great, but we're going to move them back there eventually and then reroute all the piping so that it goes to that side. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this, this video. Um, it was nice showing off the house. A little bit embarrassing because, you know, we're living in a box. Everything is disaster. Pipes everywhere, dust everywhere, ruined walls, you know, water damage. But it gives you an idea that if you ever would think of doing something like this yourself, just how much work's involved. I'm three years in. We're still in boxes. We still don't have a proper bathroom. We still don't have a kitchen. Um, yes, we could be spending a lot more money hiring people to do stuff, but that wasn't the original plan. That wasn't in our budget. So I'm doing it all myself. I'm enjoying it. It's just a lot slower than you think. I thought 
eh, by this point we'd at least have the basics done but you know it's going to be another probably seven years of this so if you're interested in following me and supporting me and cheering me on for the next i don't know how many years uh give me a follow and i'd really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up it makes me feel like this is uh, something that's worth doing let me know if you have any thoughts on what to do um, other than hiring people and uh, what would you do with this place would be a, a good question yeah. would you tackle it you think i'm crazy um we've done a lot in the garden and that's it in three years really so next up i'm going to be doing inside the house i've got a rewire with about 250 300 plug sockets working with an electrician but i'm doing all the kind of manual work so i'll be running all the wires to the fuse board um, and you know cutting all the grooves in the walls because you know there's six inch or more uh, stone walls that i have to cut into putting all the plug sockets in what running the wires that kind of thing and then the electrician's gonna do the final hookup and make sure it's safe and everything so that's the plan the next plan is to work on that uh, I may do a video in the next few weeks about how I did all this garden. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for it to be a little better looking because it's still filling in the grass. Uh, but yeah, for a year of grass, it's not looking too bad. And uh, hopefully in the next few years, it'll look a lot better. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.